Today's Gospel, Sunday, July 18, is taken from St. Mark chapter 6, verse 30 to 34. The apostles gathered together with Jesus and reported all they have done and taught. He said to them, Come away by yourselves to a deserted place and rest a while. People were coming and going great numbers, and they had no opportunity even to eat. So they went off in the boat by themselves to a deserted place. People saw them leaving and many came to know about it. They hastened there on the foot from all the towns and arrived at the place before them. When he disembarked and saw the vast crowd, his heart was moved with pity for them, for they were like sheep without a shepherd. And he began to teach them many things. The Gospel of the Lord Today's faithful reflection is from Father Ray Helia of OSM. One of the important elements of human activity is rest. Isn't it an irony? We call rest an activity? The answer is yes. Resting is part and parcel of our human body's movement and activity. God rested after His creations, thus making rest an important element of His divine activities. He imposes this to the Israelites. Thus, Sabbath is born. The Israelites should observe its as holy movement wherein focus on spiritual matters must set in. It is not idleness, but a renewal of their commitment and covenant with Yahweh. There is more to rest than just being rest. Without it, man cannot re- energize or replenish his spent energy to be productive again. And the energy spent in his activity is born out of his moments of rest. Akala natin na kapag nagpapahinga ang ating katawan, ay wala na itong ginagawa. O di kaya kapag nagpapahinga tayo ay idle na tayo. Mali ito. When we rest, we reformat, we reboot, so to speak, our being and make it attuned with that of God's again. Rest is important for man to make his activities lasting and fruitful. No wonder Jesus said, Come to me, all of you who are burdened and tired. I will give you rest. In our gospel today, the Lord Jesus instructed his people to rest for several seasons. First, to recharge physically. Napansin ni Jesus na sila'y napapagod dahil sa ilang araw na paglilibot upang ipangaral ang mabuting balita sa mga bayang kanilang pinuntahan. Malalayo ang mga bayan at bulubundukin ang daraanan bago marating ang mga bayan. Walang payong na maaaring ikubli ang ulo sa init ang araw at wala rin masyadong puno na masisilungan. He also wants them to eat and recover their strength and energy. He wants them to be recharged. Second, to recharge spiritually and psychologically. Dahil hindi lahat ng pamilya o bayan ay tumanggap sa kanila. Ang mga alagad ay pinanghinaan din ng loob at pananampalataya. In life, we are not always victorious. As the disciples, we also have to be ready for defeats. The disciples need to bond together and share their faith and stories of defeat and victories. That is one of the reason why they went off in a boat where they could be by themselves in spite of the apparent failures. They experienced from those who rejected the gospel. Their bonding together gives them new impetus and strength. Third, and this is beautiful, they have to rest because they will feed God's people. 
The story did not end with the disciples resting. It ended up with them feeding more than 5,000 people. They barely just have several hours rest and the people are already looking for them. The people even found their way ahead to the place where the disciples intended to go. Because the people were like sheep without a shepherd, Jesus and his disciples fed them with material food and the food of his word. Let us pray. Lord, I come to you with all my burdens that I may rest in your presence. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.